this week's Beyond Clean Expert series episode entitled, Is Liquid Chemical Sterilization Efficacy the Same as Ethylene Oxide Sterilization? was written by EO Sterilization Expert Ted May, President and CEO at Anderson Products Division. Ethylene oxide and liquid chemical sterilization are typically used for devices that would be sensitive to high heat used in steam sterilization, as well as rubber and plastic devices that can be damaged by irradiation. Does that mean EO and LCS efficacy are one and the same? Let's take a look. The FDA describes LCS as a two-part process. One, immerse the device in a liquid chemical germicide. Two, terminally rinse the device with water to remove chemical residues. In contrast, EO achieves traditional sterilization, which FDA defines as a validated process used to render a product free from all forms of viable microorganisms. According to FDA, for many medical devices, sterilization with EO may be the only method that effectively sterilizes and does not damage the device during the sterilization process. For LCS sterility assurance level, FDA states, although the rinse water is treated to minimize any bioburden, it is not sterile, and therefore devices rinsed with this water cannot be assured to be sterile. Furthermore, devices cannot be wrapped or adequately contained during the processing in a liquid chemical sterilant, rendering the devices prone to recontamination. For EO sterility assurance level, EO gas sterilization processes are designed by manufacturers with an associated sterility assurance level of 10 to the minus 6, a level, according to the CDC, liquid chemical sterilants may not convey. Another salient limitation, FDA states that biological indicators are not appropriate for monitoring an LCS process. FDA notes further that BIs are generally used for monitoring traditional sterilization processes like EO sterilization, where a sterility assurance level of 10 to the minus 6 is achieved. FDA has not cleared any BIs for monitoring LCS processes. A 1998 study by Dr. Rutala compared the sporicidal activities of four different low-temperature instrument processing technologies, including two using EO with hydrochlorofluorocarbons and a liquid chemical sterilant, respectively. These researchers reported that the former was highly effective in killing approximately 106 resistant bacillus stereothermophilus spores present in the center of narrow lumen stainless steel tubes. This study found, however, that the liquid chemical sterilant process was not effective in completely eliminating the 106 inoculum under test conditions. Unlike LCS, EO sterilization is a traditional sterilization technology that is associated with a sterility assurance level of 10 to the minus 6 can be routinely monitored biologically and yields a dry, wrapped, processed instrument that can be stored sterile with a shelf life. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Beyond Clean Expert Series. For more ethylene oxide sterilization questions and answers, you can contact Ted at ted.may at sterility.com.